In the model view controller pattern, the view is responsible for defining how the application's user interface or the UI is displayed. It is the component that directly interacts with the users and in the context of MVC, views are typically created using the Razor View Engine, which allows you to embed c -sharp code within an HTML file. Now, by writing c -sharp code inside an HTML file, you can generate dynamic web pages. To create a view, you can either just go to the controller, which is in this case the URL controller, and then inside here go to the action, and then right-click on the view method, and then add a view. So, add. Here, make sure that you select the razor view empty, and then you can see that the name of the view is going to be the same as the name of the action, and then click the add button. This is going to add the view. If you just go to the Solution Explorer, you'll see that it has also created a folder, which is the URL folder, the same name as the URL controller. And then inside that folder, you have the index.c sharp HTML. Now, this is the first and the easier way of creating a view, but you can also optionally just right click on the view, create the folder, same name as the controller, and then inside that folder, create a C sharp.html. So the CS in here stands for C sharp HTML. And that's because, as we said, in the razor views, you can write C sharp code and HTML code inside. Now, let me add the first, let's say, C sharp code. And in here, you can just use at and then inside curly brackets you can define var current date time is equal to date time dot utc now and then outside here let us say you want to create an h4 tag you can say welcome to this app and then a p tag to display the time and to display the time in here you can use at and then current date time. So in here now to access that page, you need to go to URL controller and then in here to the index action, which if you don't provide a value, that is going to be the default value. So I'll just type in here index just in case, press enter. And now you can see that we have the age tag and also the date time. Now, this is just a simple view and this view doesn't have any actual data to, to render, like for example, some data that are coming from the database. But that is what we're going to talk about on the upcoming parts. For now, we are going to also learn how you can pass data from a controller to a view and also from a view to a controller.